Hi everyone, um, this is just a quick video uh, showcasing a portable Raspberry Pi game system that I made. Um, it's running RetroPi from a Pi Zero. Um, it's currently got Game Boy and NES games on it. Uh, so you've got your full up, down, left, right buttons here, select and start, ABXY and your power switch. So if we open it up, uh, I think the battery I used was 10,000 milliamp. Uh, just a portable power bank that I sort of took apart and glued in place. Uh, we've got USB uh, audio and then all of the buttons go to the Raspberry Pi Zero through the GPIO uh, and then the 2.4 inch LCD screen again using the GPIO pin to the Raspberry Pi. Um, so the sort of inspiration behind this project was I wanted to make my own portable Raspberry, game, Raspberry Pi game system and I wanted to make it as affordable as possible. So the reason it's in a bit of a shoddy case, um, you know, an old phone box, is because the the sole purpose of the project was for the thing to be affordable. And uh, I think total costs came to less than £15. So um, quite pleased with the results, to be honest. Um, probably could have taken a bit more care when cutting the holes out for the screen, but uh, I'm going to be doing a, uh, a, a version 2 of this. Um, <clears throat> and see if I maybe up my budget, maybe my five pounds, see if I can get a better case um, and then make it just look a bit better because obviously you've got exposed um, prototype board here. Um, so the guide I followed for this was on Instructables. I think his name is Tyler Spajensky. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I'll put that in the, uh, put the link to that in the description. Um, but I'll just do a quick showcase of me playing, um, let's do Pokemon, shall we? So it is now booting up. Uh, I've not got anything plugged into the speakers, so there'll be no sound on this, unfortunately. But uh, the sound does work really well. Uh, it's 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 pretty good for being just a cheap. I think I paid about a pound for the USB audio. Uh, that was it. So so here I am playing Pokemon on it. Um, like I said, really happy with the results. Um, the guide that Tyler made is awesome. So definitely go and check that out if you want to make it. Um, feel free to leave any comments if you tried it yourself, need any help. Uh, and if you if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Cheers.